Alright, what is up YouTube? This is your boy, the Lord of Angel 19 for you coming at you with another video today. And today I'm actually coming at you with the Madden video. And yes, I said it, I said it, Madden. And Madden is coming back to my channel. And this is actually my first video that I have edited with Sony Vegas Pro 12. So hopefully you guys like it. And we're just going to go start off into the commentary that uh, I'm bringing Mutt back. I'm going to bring Mutt seasons, pack openings, line updates, and good cards, budget players. I might even do a budget squad. Start off from scratch as we get the user pick. The defense is real with Mercedes Lewis. As you can see, we're the Kansas City Chiefs going against the Carolina Panthers. And this game was actually very close, closer than I thought it'd be. And it was actually a very scary game because I started off great. And towards the end, I started getting a little shaky as we give the ball to Jamal Charles. And it actually gets cut a little early there. My bad, guys. So 31, we're starting off on the 31-yard line. Going to run it across with Jamal Charles right now. A good pickup of about, I don't know, 10 yards. Three rushes for 18 yards. Jamal Charles is doing some work for us. So we're actually going to do a play action. Give it to Dwayne Boat. And touchdown for us. We get on the board first with that user pick. Great for us, bad for him. See, he's trying to get somebody open, but we strip the ball from him, and he's not able to catch the ball in and bring it in. So second and ten, he's coming out. He's he's coming out in the heavy eye formation, running the ball. And watch this, D'Angelo Williams just breaks it. My guy tackles my own guy. My own team literally just tackled himself, and he takes it all the way with D'Angelo Williams for a touchdown. So we're giving the ball off to Jamal Charles right now. He's falling forward. Good pickup of about seven yards. Jamal Charles is a beast. And I love him on online rain matches. Not so much on uh, Ultimate Team. Depends what kind of card you get. But still, he's a, rel he's a really good overall back. Very fast. Can take a hit at times. He's running a counter with Jamal Charles right now. Getting a good pickup of about five yards. Five rushes for 30 yards. Jamal Charles is actually doing pretty good right now doing a run play with Jamal Charles as he takes it all the way into the end zone for 23 yards and we're just we're doing some work we're doing some work this guy can't handle it except his offense is pretty good because I'm not able to stop him he's just gaining yards but he loves to run this no hu no huddle offense as you see as the game progresses he actually loves to run no huddle offense and it's a good thing he's not scrambling with Cam Newton because oh, as we drop the pick right there I think that's Tom, uh, Tom Bahali who dropped the pick, but it's all right. 31, he converts on a read option. Uh, see, he's just he's running the no huddle offense just repeatedly, and I actually have a hard time stopping the no huddle offense for some apparent reason, but it is what it is. As we get another user pick with Mercedes Lewis, the defense is real. And trying to take it back, maybe we can house this, and no, we can't. He gets stopped at the 33-yard line. Two interceptions, though, that's a beast. Handing the ball off to Jamal Charles on a read option, get a good yard of four. And, man, this this guy is crazy. But he had. I just realized that most of the game, that out route was open, but I, I refused to go to that play. Th second and eight throw it across the field to Jamal Charles and we get a touchdown and we're up two scores now we're at a relaxing stage in the game because we're up two scores we can we can give up a few yards and let him waste the timeout on his own and surprisingly he's one of those players who doesn't scramble with this quarterback if it's a fast quarterback uh, I'd tried running I would run the read option all game if I had Cam Newton yeah, but as he loses yards right there, third and 11 for him. He's continuously running this no-huddle offense. And like I said, I'm just struggling with the no-huddle offense. But we're just going to see what happens right here. Third and 11 should be an easy stop, right? He he gets the ball, pass it, out route is open. First down right there. Brandon LaFell, first reception for 14 yards. And it's it, that was terrible. That was heartbreaking. I mean, I could have stopped him right there, put him on fourth down. But as right here, he gets a third. He's on third and eight, and he gets it again. Hicks in one reception for 28 yards, I believe. And for some reason, I showed you that full play, me picking that play out right there. Uh, uh, so <laughs> I guess you guys can see the play that I've been running. I mean, it's it's been pretty obvious because I clicked the RT button a lot, but. 
as my user is terrible right there I could have picked it off I was in position to pick it off but my user was terrible running the read option with Jamal Charles and getting a good gain of five yards nine rushes for 64 yards he's doing some work guys passing it over the I, I believe no nope, giving it to Anthony Fasano as a matter of fact because that tight end was open down the middle and you know he's getting a good gain of about I don't know 10 Running that QB wrap and Alex Smith is breaking up to the races. He's got them wheels. Nobody's going to catch up to him right now. Or are they? Yep. Stopped them at the 11-yard line. But a good gain of about uh, a good gain. So I was completely locked onto the out receiver. And I thought he was going to be open. Just a bad decision making by me. Now he actually has the chance of tying up the score. And that is just... That, that was just terrible read by me. Terrible, terrible read by me. As I try to get the user pick, but it fails. And Mercedes Lewis just drops the pick. He's running a counter play with D'Angelo Williams. And he's just running all over my defense. Man, D'Angelo Williams has had a heck of a game this game. He's running the same play that he scored on earlier in this game. And he's getting a good, yard, good gain of about 9 yards. I'm surprised he's running the ball this uh, with so little time under a minute left in the quarter and he's running the ball but I don't know if, it, if he believes he can score on it good for him and oh man I missed it by a few yards I could have stopped him and he's running the no huddle offense and I'm stuck on this blitz I'm just gonna keep on with it see what he does and if he gets a good yard, good gain, then, oh, but our defense actually broke through that time. Second and 18 for him. Third and 19. Sorry about that. And he gets the out route, and we stop him a few yards short, making it fourth and five. He calls a timeout. And he, as a matter of fact, is going for it, and he gets it again on the out route. Oh, man, these, those out routes were killing me all game. He was killing me over the middle. And he's going for it on for, uh, seven seconds left in the first half. First and ten. He gets it, and he gets out of bounds with three seconds left. Of course, he's not going to go for it. He's going to take his field goal, and I showed you this play too. Huh. Looks like my editing is pretty bad. But still, uh, you know, he's taking his field goal. He's going to put himself in good position, only down by four at the half. Smart guy, smart man, good player. And it's just... That that one read basically scared me this whole game. It, it basically paranoid me for the rest of the game as Jamal Charles gets a good yard, good gains right there. Over the middle, Dexter McCluster's open for third and three. Takes a takes it a good 26 yards to set me up on a third and nine. Uh, let's see what happens here. Jenkins, I have a Jenkins gets me those nine yards to get a first down Jamar Charles is running first and 10 and he's falling forward for a good gain 14 rushes for 85 yards man he's had a good game and I, I'm so glad he has but as the pick right there Luke Keekly just go back and rewind that look at Luke Keekly he's completely being blocked and my receivers open across the middle and for some reason I'm not even going to blame it on EA. I'm just going to say the player just did had a great play. Playmakers making plays. And that's just what happens in the NFL too. I mean, I know it's Madden, but it's just the playmaker making plays. Second and 11, he's running. He's at, He did run the no huddle, and he gets a good gain across the middle. Injury timeout. And he's running the a, a play action, as a matter of fact. And he's scrambling with Cam Newton. Finally, as I said in the beginning, that he wouldn't be scrambling with Cam Newton. He actually had. He actually started to. Third and five, and he gets me. I'm pretty sure that play was bench. Uh, still, he got me. Ted Ginn, 19 yards on that reception. And first and ten on his 44. Oh man, the out route again is just killing me over and over again. He's running a counterplay with D'Angelo D'Angelo Williams, and he is probably going. He's no, he's going to score on this, and he is showboating by diving into the end zone, giving him the lead, 24-21. And uh, here goes Dwayne Bow getting a good, good, good reception for a nice gain of yards. And Dwayne Bow again, quick slant over the middle, and Dwayne Bow is a beast. He is a very nice possession receiver for them. So let's see, play action, and X is wide open, Don Avery. 
over the middle touchdown giving me back the lead a four four point lead and he's running with D'Angelo Williams and he's just been killing me all game with the run I mean why stop if it's not broken don't fix it I mean there's no point in him if, if it's working for him might as well and his receipt oh a bad user by me I was again I was in position to pick the ball off yet I didn't and we dropped the pick right there oh man we're dropping picks that's two CPU drops and two drops for me so I guess we're pretty even but at least EA could give me that back that one and then Mike Tobert trucks people for the two yard gain and I let him run the clock out all the way down to 133 and he's just gonna run in second in inches right now he's breaking my heart because he's completely just running all over me with D'Angelo Williams and he gets first and goal this is where I gotta start wasting my timeouts because he's just gonna run the clock out if I don't he's running a screen I'm, I just let him score let him score just so I could get a chance to at least score field goal again and so here we are the final I mean the, yeah the final drive of the game I had 30 I think about 38 seconds to score with one timeout and I'm running no huddle I just wasted about 10 seconds right there so I'm gonna run the out route Don Avery and I could have kept going but for some reason I think I accidentally flicked the stick and it and it uh, ran me out of bounds flipping the play right here having uh Dwayne Bow on the out route and I'm gonna give it to Dwayne Bow. He's been doing good for me all game. And again I could have kept running but you know I just I think I paranoid and flicked the stick and that happened but still gaining yards and Jamal Charles over the middle using my final timeout final play of the game right here. Dwayne Don Avery. Don Avery had actually caught the ball guys and that's the final play of the game. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace, guys. See ya.